Well, hello, retro game players. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Marcus. This is pickup video number 53 on the channel. I've got some very cool stuff to share with you. I'm going to launch right into our special soundtrack provided on behalf of Space Lab 9. It is The Witcher Wild Hunt. So this is Witcher 3. Uh, this soundtrack is absolutely awesome. This is a four disc LP set. Uh, I have been listening to this nonstop. Uh, thank you guys. They sent it to me. Um, they wanted me to go ahead and talk about it on here. And as you know, Space Lab 9 has sent the channel quite a few releases. They are absolutely awesome. If you have not checked out them, do so. Um, they also have coming out pretty soon, Outlast uh, on vinyl. And then they're actually one of the few places you can get Breaking Bad on LP which is really cool as well. But this release, um, yeah, four LPs, really gnarly gatefold looking art here. There's like hanging guys and stuff. Um, I actually did play this game on the channel when it came out. Many of you may not know that, but I played, I think I did five videos of it. Um, and so anyway, it's actually really cool. Um, I was really impressed with it, so you know check this out if you're interested thank you so much space lab 9 you guys are awesome um, I'm gonna put their link in the description so definitely go check them out and we're gonna listen to this throughout the video so thanks again uh, next up I have another package from a very cool company this is strictly limited games they sent me a couple games uh, this one I purchased which is called Pankapu I got this. Um, this is a sort of a 2D action platformer. I haven't played it yet. I want to play it. Um, it's still new. It's, uh, you know, it's op not opened here. Um, so I'm really excited. This is their 10th release. Um, and it's one that I was just really excited to check out. So I picked this one up and then um, they are very cool. The guys over there um, have hooked me up before with some games for the channel. And so they actually threw in a couple here, uh, which I didn't have. So Knights of Pen and Paper, um, which I had heard about on Steam. I had never heard about it um, for PS4 until they did it. And this is sort of like an old school RPG, but it's kind of like removed, like it's self-aware. Because you're playing this like kid who goes and sets up um, the actual like D and D board games, and then in the background you're like reliving. You know the graphics are the world that the uh, dungeon master is creating. Um, so I haven't played it, but that's my understanding of it. And then Tokyo Forty Two is a top down isometrical kind of shooter, um, and I want to play this too. I haven't played this. This is their first release, and I totally missed this one. Um, but Strictly Limited is absolutely like my favorite indie publisher. Um, not because they're sending me these games, but because they actually do a great job of like um, choosing great games to you know publish, and that's why a few of their games have showed up on the top ten PS4 videos because they're actually really good. Um, like Griffin Knight, I cannot believe how expensive that game got, but um, you know that's what's worth I guess checking these guys out is when they release these games. Um, to be like paying attention because they're not expensive when they first come out. They're like 30 bucks or whatever. Another one that they did recently was Stirred In, um, which is a shoot 'em up. And so, anyway, I encourage you guys to follow Strictly Limited um, because that way you don't miss out on some really cool releases. Because, man, it sucks. Um, I, you know, in my last pickup video, I mentioned that too how if you miss a game and you really wanted it, and then you go to eBay and it's like, holy crap. You know, you can wait, and eventually, who knows, maybe someone will slip up. Um, sometimes you'll find them on Amazon, too. So, anyway, thank you so much, Strictly Limited Games. Um, like I said, I did purchase this one. I will be playing this one like crazy, and then they just hooked me up with these other ones. So, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. A um, couple other things I wanted to share in this pickup video. Nothing too major, but some really cool stuff. So, uh, I have a game I'm going to save for the end. And I'm just going to talk about these. I found these at a local Walmart. Um, these are normally, like, I don't know how much they are normally, but they were five bucks each. And there's a set of four. So these are the Flashback series. This is Rick Rude. Um, what's cool about this series is that 
each box contains parts to build the Howard Finkel figure, which was the old announcer. Um, so like this one includes the legs and then I'll show you the other, the other one as well. So then we've got, um, cowboy Bob Orton. And so he has the head and the microphone and you can like mix and match the characters if you want to do, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, this is my favorite one, the million dollar man. He's got like a turquoise suit on. Um, I used to love Ted DiBiase just because he was so cool um, and kind of a good evil guy. And then Sergeant Slaughter. Um, I honestly was really surprised to find these. These were in the clearance aisle at Walmart, all four of them. They only have four. And like I said, they all assemble to make this Howard Finkel guy, which is really cool. Um, I, I have not been collecting any of the new wrestling figures. It's just not something I'm into. Plus they're usually like 10 bucks or 15 bucks each, sometimes more, I think for some of the better ones. Um, but when I was a kid, I, I actually had the weird chunky guys. I, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about the WWF ones with the ring and there was like Jake, the snake Roberts, ultimate warrior. And anyway, I really liked those. They were like, um, really fun to play with. They were pretty you know, well made, but man, I don't know. I just, I think I even remember like having earthquake and stuff. And anyway, I was really into, um, old school wrestling, um, all the way up to like the mid nineties. And they sort of started to check out and I just don't follow it anymore. But if I see things like this and I mean, I get pumped up, so that's why I picked them up. So five bucks each. I thought that was really cool. Um, the other thing that I recently picked up which I was really excited for, uh, was this release on Sega's website, their official merchandise store, and it's a Sonic the Hedgehog toaster, okay? Um, really, actually pretty high quality. I was impressed, I opened this up. Um, it's got, you know, some Sonic art and stuff all over it, but what happens is you put the bread in there and it actually burns which is kind of maybe something that's not really desirable, but it burns Sonic's head into the piece of toast. Uh, super crazy. I don't think there was very many of these made. I don't really know. I'm not sure if they're still available or not. It wasn't very much money. Um, it might have been 30 bucks. I don't know. Something like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it, but I'll get some shots of it for you guys. I don't think I'm gonna actually cook any toast in this. I have a toaster oven. I prefer toaster ovens um, for my toasting needs, but I love how obscure this is. And it's just one of those items that, you know, like 50 years from now, when I'm on my deathbed, I'll be like, oh yeah, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog toaster. I remember that. I've never used it, but now I will, you know, and then I'll make a bunch of English muffins or something. Uh, okay, the final item is one that I picked up. Um, I want to get the website correct. It was from the clockworkrobot.com. Just clockworkrobot.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, I also will put, I think I'll, I didn't say this, but I'll put Strictly Limited Games link in the description. I'm going to put Space Lab 9's link in the description too. But this is um, the Stramish Zone. Stramish Zone. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct. Um, but this is a Vectrex game. Um, it's another one I had in a few pickup videos ago, um, that really cool one. This is another one, and I'm gonna show a little gameplay uh, right now.
So as you can see, it's definitely got an old school battle zone vibe, um, which is really awesome. I love the overlay. The overlay to me is one of the highlights. Really pretty cool gameplay. Um, and also I will say I got this, I think it was like around 50 bucks shipped, something like that. I can't remember what the conversion was, but check out the link in the description. Um, and yeah, I thought it was, I think it's worth it. I mean, uh, you know, I do understand that some people don't care about the Vectrex at all. So, hey, I get it. Uh, but for me, I don't mind spending a little bit of money, especially when it's like a super indie game developer um, making stuff like this. I just think it's really cool. So there you go, you guys. That concludes this pickup video. So uh, there you go. Until next time, you guys know what to do, right? You're going to keep that shit retro by making toast with the Sonic the Hedgehog Sega Toaster. Later on.